Hey everyone, I'm Silver, and today guys, I'm joined with... Black Moon uh, Dragon. A very, um, sick Black Moon Dragon, we shall add. So if he seems out of character, don't pick on him, he's just not feeling well. Okay, buddy, so today, um, as of last night, on the 5th of May, this should be going up on the 6th or so, or not the 5th, on the 3rd of May, that we covered Domination. The skill that was leaked, I think, did it come out on the 3rd? I don't remember. It was, I want to say that yesterday, was it yesterday that we posted our videos? Yes. Oh. Yeah, that sounds about right. So yeah, okay, so on the 3rd, they released the new Nubatama skill, Domination. Which allows you to basically control a unit's, uh, another player's card. It's uh, sort of the first of the skill in the game I've seen. I don't think any other clan has that. Is there? The, the closest thing I would say is Link Joker because the locking mechanic kind of is kind of... Uh, Shafts over your opponent similarly, but I would say that domination so far is is uh, probably strict the stricter of the two. Okay, so um, I'm gonna quickly read how domination works, but I agree, Link Joker's probably the closest, if not Mega Colony. Just cause... yeah, maybe that too. But um, so domination is the new keyword in the Nubakama Clan introduced in the G Trial Deck 13, Ruler of the Evil Eye. It allows the player to treat their opponent's unit as if it was their own, uh, preventing the opponent from using that unit while allowing the player to attack, but not intercept or boost that unit as well, allowing the player to use its abilities. So, what's this mean? What does this mean? It essentially means you no longer your grade twos no longer matter, and your back row is no longer of use to you. Essentially. And at first, this seemed like an okay skill if you are just thinking rearguard wise. So you can walk out an entire entire opponent's back row. But as we read down the list, it basically elaborates on how the skill works, which is honestly terrifying. So essentially, how it works is while the ability is active, the player. Uh, the player with the domination keyword will treat that unit as his or hers is the master of that unit. Um, the unit under the effect effect is treated in dominated state. The master is treated as the dominating player. The former master of that unit is referred to as the original master. So, can is there anything thus so far wrong with this uh, dragon? I uh, can't think of anything. Okay. Off the top of my head, but then again, I'm a uh... I'm delusional right now, so... So, I had this realization at work, but we'll continue down the list. This is sort of a, as quick as a recap as I can muster for this of the previous video and how the skill works. So, continue on. The unit in Dominated State is not treated by its original master as his or her rear guard. Does anything click that's wrong with that right now? Well, doesn't that screw up some of the skill activations that say specifically targets your rear guard? It screws over almost every clan in the game. All paladin decks against this are useless if you take control of any rear guard circle. Bermuda has no bounces. Um, anything that shifts the field around is useless. But the skill only gets worse. So if you move on to the next line of wording, if a legion mate is in dominated state, so is the legion. So now you can take over a vanguard circle entirely. It, it, is that is there something wrong there? I mean, you can still attack with your vanguard. But then the drive check is conducted by your opponent instead. Exactly. So that is the big problem here. So a lot of this other stuff, I mean, if it's locked or deleted, it's no longer dominated. If the if the dominated zone, um, there's a whole bunch of columns. If the circle changes, it's considered neither player. Um, when the when a circle 
changes masters, it's considered neither as player's front row nor back row. So if you have a card that says target your front row, it doesn't do anything to that unit. It's just sort of middle row now. I believe, however, um, column, it's still treated as though it's in a column, though. But it changes columns, because if you read above it, if it's in the left column of the original master, it's now in the right column of the dominating player. Yeah, it's still in a column, it's just it's treated at, exactly. like... Exactly. It's just treated as though it's in a different column. Exactly. Could you, so, ima- huh? could you imagine, though... Um, some of those units that like retire entire columns. Could you imagine if you get that skill off and? Well, yeah, you'll retire up to three rear guards, but I mean that so far isn't bad. The skills sort of balanced, but then as Black Moon said earlier, if you go down towards the bottom of the list, if a dominate vanguard is attacking, the drive check is done by placing the top card from the dominating player's deck into the dominating player's trigger zone. Does that sound too bad? Well, uh, depends. Uh, the dominating player, uh, it's not too bad for them. The dominated player, however, uh, might be crying a river over this. Just take a second to let it sink in. So you, as the dominating player, perform, say your opponent strides. You're performing three drive checks. Where are those drive checks going next? You know, I've been wondering about this myself because, uh, like, think about it. If the opponent's doing the drive check, um, does that mean the opponent can give the trigger effects to their own units instead, or...? Um, no, because it's counting as the player, it's counting as the attacking player's drive check. So, I guess... That's the same. Okay, so if we were to assume that that's how it works, then... Couldn't they just give all trigger uh, trigger effects to something useless, like a back row or something? They could. And uh, just waste all the triggers? Well, so, so, when, so say, say I'm dominating your vanguard. You attack your vanguard to mine. I reveal the top, and it's on strides. I reveal the top three cards in my deck. I say I reveal two draw triggers and a critical. You get to, you get to decide where that power and stuff goes. But there's one thing even scarier about this. Is that I'm adding those three cards to my hand. (coughs) Yeah. Domination is literally shutting down your ability to draw in decks that don't draw. Every deck that requires its drive check for guarding no longer has it. And what makes it worse is any deck that has standing vanguards or repeated drive check units. Think of the Legend deck, the new Aichi Sendo Legend deck where Blaster Blade gets a twin drive. Well, I'm just going to dominate your Blaster Blade rearguard and your Blaster Blade vanguard. I'm going to get five drive checks added to my hand. That's five more cards I have to guard with. Yeah... That is a pretty scary uh, realization there. Kind of makes sense if you think about it, since that since Nubatama re- relies on limiting the hand size. Yeah. And one of the cruelest ways to do that, if you think about it, is uh, preventing your opponent from doing their drive check. Exactly. And to make the skill even more... I want to say unbalanced is you're not allowed to call or ride on a dominated unit if that circle, if the circle's master is different from its owner. So let's say, and then the most extreme instance I can think of, I dominate all your rearguards and vanguard. I'm now being able to drive check off of anything that gets a drive check. And you can't call anything. Your back row can't support. You can't bounce anything to hand. You can't move units around. Um, if your unit has an auto ability, I get to choose if it triggers. And if it does trigger, I get to choose the target area. Just, I mean, think of Great Nature deck. Almost every important skill in their clan is an automatic. You attack Cran Tiger to the Vanguard. I choose a rear guard you don't want retired. And it's now going to be retired at end of turn. 
sure you're gonna get to draw a card, but it it can this skill is actually really broken and scary to face. Yeah, it uh, it is looking that way right now. Now, can you think of a way to maybe counter this? Well, you know, I was thinking about that myself. Um, I think that the that the clans that clear their own field um, will be able to get around it, like like uh, the Pale Moon. Uh, what the? What is it, Hari? The one where everything on their feet field goes back to the soul. That one. Yep. I think that one will, uh, you know, be able to take this on easily. I think that Grand Blue decks will be good against this um, because of Hollow. Um, and everyone, I um, I'm going to stop you there just because you haven't looked at the trial deck yet. Um, open up the trial deck page or the grade three at the bottom of the link. The, where, uh, where you got the, the thumbnail? Uh, yeah. Did you uh, read its first skill? At the beginning of your ride phase, if you choose a choose a card from your opponent's drop zone, if you do, your opponent calls that card to a rear guard at the end of the turn, retire that unit. So you can literally... Force them to call units. Call units, dominate, and you're obviously going to have cards that gain power off domination. So even in clans that clear their field aren't safe. And on top of that, say you have a full rear guard, and you're just like, nah, bro, I want to call your grade zero over your grade two in the front row, dominate, and at a return, I cleared two rear guards. I would like to point out, however, that that skill is, um, is an auto skill that only actives, that, that's only active if you don't, if you choose not to stride, so... Nope, it says at you, the beginning of the ride phase. It's uh, oh yeah, oh no, yeah, no, you're right, you're right. I I I, I forgot that part. It, okay, it, so just I'm sick. Forget what I'm saying. It, it, no, it's okay. That's that's sort of the point. Is it's scary? Like, and if you go to the actual trial deck list where this card comes from, the set, um, the Eye of the Evil Ruler. Looking at that set, almost. Any card that currently is revealed shows the quantity that's in the deck, but that, but, but the grade three itself. We have no idea how many copies of this grade three we're getting in the deck. We know that's probably a minimum of two because every deck since, whenever has at least had two grade threes of their main unit. But we don't know how many the. We don't honestly know what we're getting for grade three. I would not say we're probably going to get four in the stack. Mm. I'm going to place my bets on two for this one. I mean, but I get it wrong. We do also have two other grade threes, and they're giving us stride fodder in the stack. Yeah, that is a first, I must admit. A welcome change, though, for me. Oh, yeah, no, I agree. It's just... At work, I realized that decks that rely on their rear guards are going to get screwed over with this. You're going to have a hard time moving stuff around. Um, it, it's just there isn't a lot you can do against this. Well, that also depends on what the cost is to get off those dominations. As uh, one of the commenters on one of my video pointed out that in order to make it balanced, they're probably going to have to get off some form of of cost in order to dominate. It's probably going to be like a hand size requirement or a counter blast, soul blast. Um, it might yeah. as simply as be bind an opponent's rear guard, dominate a unit. And the only thing that makes the skill scarier is there's no time limit on how long a unit is dominated for. That we know of yet. Well, I mean, just by reading how the skill works, there's it doesn't say at the end of turn or at the end of turn it reverts back, because that wouldn't work with the drive check mechanic, or the circle or the column mechanics. There'd honestly, 
at that point domination would be no longer of a useful skill but a skill that doesn't really do anything I mean it takes you get drive checks for yourself I mean you increase you're literally decreasing your deck to increase your hand size <coughs> which is the biggest problem with a stack because you can literally just PG against your your opponent's vanguard attack add three cards to hand and decide how you're gonna guard from there yeah which is honestly the scariest part about the deck is it allows you to get the cards that your opponent should be getting to yourself And I think that's probably the biggest problem I have with this skill. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what it's like when it comes out. So, in total recap, Domination's broken. Um, are you going to be buying the trial deck when it comes out? Oh, yeah. It says, I had no interest in Nubatama. Now I have it over interest in Nubatama. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you watch my video, I confess that I wasn't interested until I saw this skill. I honestly have had an interest in Numatama, but no deck build, or the deck build I originally had, I didn't like. Ah. Uh, so, so I traded it off to someone else for, like, a $200 deck, and my deck was, like, 50 bucks. Oh, I see. So I got, I got something I wanted out of it at the time, and now I'm kind of sad, because... Well, um, you're getting a new trial deck to make up for this, so... I, I'm honestly buying, like, two or three trial decks, dude. I'll probably buy two and uh, maybe some singles from there. Well, you know what's sad is every Christmas when uh, every Christmas when I get a trial deck for Christmas, because uh, normally me and my brother get a trial deck, I always get the hot stamp foil card. Oh, how funny. For the past two years, I've had it in both trial decks. I got Chrono Jet, or no, I didn't get Chrono Jet. I got the Pale Moon one. I got the Luard one. I have, I think, I have the original Chrono Jet hot stamp when it first came out. I have a hot stamp uh, Asha. I think I had a hot stamp bot mile. I can't remember if I had one or not. But almost, I've almost have a hot stamp for every trial deck that's been released at least. <sighs> That's another thing. Gear Chronicle doesn't need any more trial decks. Yeah. But guys, that has um, been Domination, uh, the most kinkiest skill in Vanguard yet. Can I uh, just interject one thing before uh, you wrap up? Of course, man. What do you think is more overpowered, this or Generation Break 8? <sighs> like, who do you think would win in a fight? Between the two. Um, Domination genera Generation Break 8. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> uh, I'm just, like, thinking. Generation Break 8 is good, but it takes so long to get there. Depending on the deck you're using. Yeah, Gear depending on the deck you're using. Gear Crumbs can get it out by, like, third stride. Yeah. But now I'm thinking. What if Nubatama has a really broken Domination Generation Break 8? Well, so we already know that... I think they already re released the uh, Nubatama GB8. Uh, I don't think it's a key word, though. It's not. It's for That's for the Fighter's Collection. But just think, a Nubatama Generation Break 8 Domination skill where it dominates either the deck or your opponent's hand, or Counter Blast. I think that would be overkill by then. <coughs> but Generation Break in general is overkill. Yeah, it's, true. Look, look at it like this. Uh, Generation Break 8, Counter Blast 3... Drop two cards from hand. If your opponent has three or more units being dominated by you, take their hand. Take all the cards in their hand. I mean, it's probably not a realistic skill, but it's a plausible skill. Yeah. Because the whole point is for you to either have less or more than your opponent in their hand. And if you're just... I'm going to take your whole hand just so I gain power infinite power off this it'd be like take take your opponent all the cards in your opponent's hand or bind all the cards in your opponent's hand then give a thousand power or three thousand power to every unit on your field with 
for every card bound or took this way, or for every card more you have your opponent. It'd be something silly like that, and it's it would just be, oh, unrealistic goals. Well, I guess only time will tell how broken this is. Hey, time will tell. I mean, maybe we'll just time leap back into the past. Ah, uh, kill me. <laughs> uh, but guys, I'm going to end this video off here. Um, go check out Blackwing Dragon's channel. Um, I actually have it up here, so I'm just going to drag it over. Uh, shameless promotion. Uh, he has all these really cool videos right here. See, all of them. Some of them even feature me. Actually, quite a few for the past few weeks have featured me. Um, actually, yeah, quite a bit has. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, check all of this out. He's a really good card fighter. Um, we're planning lots for June. Buddy fight. Um eventually getting him tabletop simulator so we can play good games i mean uh also check out this how to play vanguard series it's uh super interesting i love it i've watched it like a thousand times <laughs> it's, it's quite literally half the views on it um <laughs> he's a great person he has some awesome thumbnail work he's an awesome player awesome uh picture uh you want to say anything else he's at 203 subscribers now he's at the big two three it's what I've been waiting for my entire life. He's finally completed his life. I can die in peace now. Also, just one more shameless promotion. Um, it? Check out my channel. I, I do some really cool content work. Um, yeah, just just check it out. It's really awesome. I promise you guys won't regret it. Probably, hopefully not. Um, I like playing all these fun games with all my friends and all that other fun stuff. Um, I'm at... 111 subscribers. I'm so happy. But until next time, guys, I'm done with those shameless promotions. I've been the Silver Wolf, joined with Black Moon Dragon. We'll see you in the next video. Check out his channel. He'll probably be posting a video, hopefully. See you later. Peace.